Hi guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the last beef stew recipe. If you've not watched it yet, click the link above, it'll take you straight there. Today, Happy Fresh has sent me yet another goodie bag with some authentic Italian products. And they've asked me if I could make mushroom risotto. And I'm like, of course. But first, let's see what's in the bag. All right, they've got this nice basso authentic Italian extra virgin olive oil. This is Scotti Risotto Porcino, all right. It's flavored risotto with porcino. Porcino is a mushroom that's um, very expensive over here in Asia and it's quite hard to get. And of course, haha, <laughs> this is Rufino Orvieto Classico. Okay, it's an Italian Chardonnay. And yes, this is Galbani Grana Padano. Okay, it makes a really good risotto. You can use this for your carbonara, for your risotto. Um, it's just this nice deeper flavor of cheese. Now, there are a couple more other ingredients here. We've got some onions, mushrooms, thyme, nice for aromatics. Uh, there's button mushroom and shimeji mushroom, so it's a nice combination of two different types of mushrooms and white pepper. Now, let's start cooking. All right, so first off, we're gonna cut up our onion, okay? Okay, once the onion's peeled, now we're gonna dice the onion. All right, you wanna make sure it's nice and small, yep. Now, onions nice and cut. Turn on the pan, and our extra virgin olive oil goes in. All right, so I've got my vegetable stock that I've brought up to a boil, and now I've just turned down the fire and just to keep it at temperature, okay? It's important when you're cooking risotto to use hot liquid. Um, if you do not have vegetable stock, it's fine. Just use water, it's all right as well, okay? So now, onions go into the hot pan. Okay, and you want to keep the heat on a nice medium low. All right, so this will take about three to four minutes. And while this is being swept, I'm going to start cutting up the button mushrooms and the shimiji mushroom. So here we've got some nice, beautiful button mushrooms. And all I'm going to do is nice, thick slices. Yep. All right. Make sure, keep an eye on your onions. Every once in a while, Give them a good stir around. Nice. So we've got our mushrooms, our button mushrooms done. We're gonna start prepping our shimeji mushroom. Okay, so what I like to do with the shimeji mushroom is um, we're not even gonna cut them very much. We're just going to remove the root part of the mushroom. Okay, so that way um, some of them are gonna stay together and that's what you want. Yeah, you don't want them to be too loose apart. There we go, just like this. And then you use your hands and just, you know, break it apart. There we go, look at that, nice, easy. Okay, so I've got our mushrooms all ready. We're gonna start roasting them in the pan. Okay, turn on the heat. Gonna put the mushrooms in straight away. And this is just gonna extract all that moisture from the mushrooms. Yeah, before you roast them. We're gonna add in the risotto rice. All right, risotto rice goes in. Okay, now here's the one thing I wanna highlight about this uh, Scotti Risotto Porcino. Yeah, it's using Carnaroli rice. So the usual rice a lot of people use is the Arborio rice, that works fine, but Carnaroli rice is even better, so I hear, because apparently it's creamier, it's a much smoother texture of rice. Yeah, so try and look this up. Once your rice is nicely coated with the fat from the extra virgin olive oil and as well the onions, we're gonna add in the liquid. First liquid we're gonna add in is the wine. Okay, so we've got our classic Italian Chardonnay. So the, the use of the wine, uh, because risotto is uh, usually a very rich dish, yeah, because you've got cheese in there and you've got mushrooms. Um, so the white wine is actually to cut down some of that richness, yeah, so it doesn't get too, uh, you don't get sick of eating it, right? If you do not use white wine or if you're alcohol sensitive, then you can replace it with, you know, lemon juice just a little bit because lemon juice is quite concentrated, it's very strong. So just a little bit of lemon juice at the end of the dish, um, just to sort of lift up that flavor and not make it so uh, rich. Okay, so the wine goes into the rice right about now, about a half cup. 
or a little bit more. Yeah. And the best part of my job is when people send me alcohol, look, there's a difference between a drunkard and enjoying good alcohol. Cheers, guys. Okay, so once your liquid goes in, start to stir your rice. There we go, nice. So in total, I've added in almost, to be honest, about a cup of wine, all right? You want the rice to absorb all that liquid, yeah, all that wine, and then we'll start going in with our stock. There we go, nice. As you can see, it's drying up already. And now, just using a ladle, we're gonna ladle in some stock. And as you ladle in the stock, repeat the process, keep stirring until the entire mixture turns nice and creamy and the rice is nice and al dente. All right, so now mushrooms. You can see now the mushrooms are all dried up. It's fantastic. Now we're gonna add in a knob, a nice knob of butter. There we go. Butter in. And I've got some aromatics. Yeah, we're gonna use some thyme. Just drag some thyme, fresh thyme. If you're using fresh thyme, you can use a little bit more, but if you're using dried herbs, be careful because dried herbs are a lot more concentrated than the fresh ones. Okay, give it a good mix around. Okay, so same thing as you see the rice drying up. Yeah, ladle in more of your stock. All right, the mushrooms are done. Turn off the heat and just let it rest, okay? While we continue to work on our risotto. See, the important thing about using hot stock or hot liquid when you're cooking your risotto is so that we maintain the temperature of cooking the rice. All right, so our risotto is almost done. Let's give it a little taste, okay? Mm. So full of flavor. Now, I've not seasoned this with any salt at all because the flavored risotto, the Scotty flavored risotto, um, already has seasonings on the inside. So we're not going to be seasoning any further. And right now, we're just going to be adding in our Galbani Grana Padano. Okay. So now, cheese goes in. There we go. Fantastic. And once we're done, a nice knob of butter. Give it a good mix around. Another indicator that your risotto is the right consistency is you draw a line in the middle of the pan and you see that it should hold for a bit and then it gradually sort of closes up that line. Yeah, then you know it has the right consistency. White pepper. Just a little bit at the end. Fantastic. All right, and we're ready to plate up. Use a nice ladle, take a nice portion of risotto, put it right in the middle of a plate. There we go, nice. Fantastic, and then we're gonna top it up with all these nice, beautifully sauteed mushrooms. There we go, and here I have some um, chervil just to garnish it with. All right, guys, and there you have it. This is my mushroom risotto uh, using authentic Italian products from Happy Fresh. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for sending me another goodie bag. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this recipe, do like and subscribe. And if you want to try out this recipe, head on to Happy Fresh and you can shop on there. They deliver all the products right to your doorstep. Okay, and just for now, we're going to give this a try. absolutely delicious it's so creamy yeah delicious guys take care i'll see you next time ciao cheers